Hi. So I'm going to have to add a title to this. So day two. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay. So, um, I get, really be careful of what you ask for. I think I did a video on that yesterday. Be careful what you ask for. So I'm on day two of the juice fasting. It's going great. I, I um, I feel good. It was a little easier. Um, I didn't get through all six juices, um, but I did. I do feel good that there. Um, on a three-day juice fast, um, if you're getting enough juice, not like three meals, but like six meals a day, um, it it cleans out your system a bit, it gives everything a rest, it um, begins to detox through your guts and your liver. Um, you know, but it's not this really deep detox, it's it's um, much gentler. For me with adrenal failure um, in my past, and to fix this because it's driving me crazy, but adrenal failure in my past and um, in illness in my body, my adipose cells, um, which you know, I will share more with in the Amazing You program and stuff if you choose to join, and um, the Love the Skin You're In boot camp. But w what happens in my body is, um, gosh, my thing is going to do, is my adipose cells react and I get into fight when I'm stressed. So for me, a long, drawn out, fast or juice fast, um, 10 days or 30 days or 40 days, which is um, a pretty good max, um, isn't good. It just really, really, really isn't good. And what it tends to do is um, I gain weight, right? So everybody else loses weight and I gain weight. So I don't want to do that to my body. I want to reset my metabolism, reset my digestive system, give my guts a break. And um, I really feel like that is, that's absolutely um, happening. I feel really good. As far as the weight, the other weight that I'm lifted off, um, different things have come up. Uh, some insecurities, some uh, a real hard look at how I've um, been kind of avoiding certain aspects and certain areas of my business in the sense where it was a lot of preparation. It's been a lot of preparation to put together your own university and the You Matter Club years. It's been a lot of preparation for the yoga teacher training, um, getting that online, and um, the holistic coach training, getting that online. A lot of friggin' preparation. And um, I've discounted all of the work and all the heart that I put in for myself. And I think we all do this right? Like, do you do that? But it weighs on you. And I teach in coaching the importance of celebrating our victories, even our small ones, um, celebrating when, when we can do something. And, and for me, I haven't really done that. I've, I've made it mean because I haven't made X amount of money or because I haven't, um, I don't know, really it's money. <laughs> um, then it means I haven't done anything when really, I mean, I've been doing a shit ton and a lot. There's a lot of content. There's a lot of great stuff. Um, not only that I've done, but other people and partnering with people f for the last years have done. And, and you know, a year long certification and training is, is, is deep. So I'm, all these things are coming up, right? And they've been weighing on me and I didn't even notice it. So I'm letting that go. I'm relating to um, money completely different. It's beautiful um, looking at, at, at different budgets and marketing and stuff like things, you know, as an entrepreneur, as a businesswoman, it's like, oh my gosh, I um, just, it's different. And it's because of this cleanse. It's because I'm actively looking at, yesterday was really intense looking at things that were weighing me down. I mean, crazy stuff came up in the most weird ways right weird weird ways um, it was shown to me and and today some things too um, but mainly today has been a lot of celebration a lot of like wow wow like <sighs> I can let that weight go and really really 
really be okay with however I'm feeling about something. Whatever that judgment is, I can stop denying the judgment. And you know that you're denying a judgment when you're either making an excuse for it, explaining a judgment, or you are... Um, so it, it's weighing you down. It's weighing me down anyway. If I make an excuse for it, or I'm trying to change it. I'm actively trying to change it. And by actively trying to change it, I'm denying how I feel. So this was specifically around um, just like a really cool thing. Like I was like tapping this morning on a specific topic um, around women and friendships and, and feeling like the outcast, feeling um, like the ugly duckling, uh, being bullied, um, not being cool, right? And um, so I'm tapping around that and I think as women, a lot of us feel that way. And, and, and literally today I had three friends just reach out and they're like, let's have dinner, let's do something. Um, I want to share for you. Hey, let's do this. I mean, it, it was incredible. I'm like, wow, thank you. Um, unsolicited, just, just there and beautiful. And, um, and, and that was because of the tapping. That was because of the EFT. That was because I allowed that weight that was weighing on me since I was in high school or maybe even before lift off my shoulders. And that is going to allow a new life experience to come in. This is breaking the cycle of, of abuse, of self-abuse. And, and it's sometimes really, really challenging to see what's weighing us down, to see these, these beliefs, to even catch ourselves when we're trying to change something. And that's where an awesome coach comes along. That's where um, practice comes along. That's where you know the 20 years that I've been studying mind, mindfulness and emotions and and emotional intelligence and spiritual intelligence and and soul contracts and <laughs> and chakras and energy and and um, trauma transformation. Like 20 plus years, really, I'm closer to 30 really since I've been studying it and if you count my whole life experiencing it in order to um have you know the pile of empathy that i have like to go for and it, it sounds really weird like i'm like i'm kind of like am i being cocky oh my god am i being cocky ah! like i like i have a struggle happening like right now inside of me as as i'm telling you what i'm really good at but really this has been my life and i really rock at it and it's so important to me <laughs> oh God. Oh, I'm going to tap on that, but that's it. That right there, I mean, witness of one thing that's been weighing me down. It's really hard for me to celebrate in this way. Um, I remember that one of the first coaches I had in 2010, actual coaches, and one of the first trainings I went through, um, one of her things was celebration, and it was so challenging. And really witnessing ourselves. Um, I have needed a or wanted or thought that I needed some sort of um, validation. Really money. And not like a little money and making it buy money, but like like billions. Right? Um, not to ever, ever think about money ever again. Like just being able to throw it at people. I think that would be super fun. <laughs> but... Um, you know, I really want to do million dollar concerts to celebrate you. So th that's my goal. And it, it's not happening as fast as I want it to. And that's been really disinvalidating. But at the same time, it takes so much work and effort to build that care. And so I just want to let that weight off my shoulders and, and um, say how much of my heart and my life experiences into everything that I offer you here and, and share with you and give you and that I hope you participate in. And I really hope that you like the lives and that you get notified when I'm on because you're going to get a ton of insight. You're going to get 20 plus years of overcoming trauma, overcoming putting yourself last, overcoming um, just people pleasing and and victim mindset and victim actions and survivor mindset did you even know that and survivor actions and 
and how to get present with yourself and how to enter into thriving. I mean, I've fucking been there so hard. I've been on death's door and it's not fun. And so have many of the people that are with us at your own university and teaching in your own university. We had um, two collaborating teachers, uh, professors, um, send stuff in for new courses and really like, stoked new classes master classes with them so um, today was challenging right challenging but really fun because this is a new phase yesterday I was seeing all the crap that was weighing me down today I'm like okay what's gonna lighten me up and that's that celebrating <sighs> so um, Yeah, how much can you celebrate today? That would be my question if you're going through this. Um, you know, what can you celebrate? What can you lighten up in your life? And and that's part of this. Um, releasing the weight is acknowledging the light. So that is my day two of my 72-hour reset whole body detox. So my body is doing really well. Um, mindset, I'm doing tapping, I had things like that, I did some journaling, I'm going to go sit in the hot tub with my man and um, meditate right now, aligning with my spirit, working on um, a lot of clarity around my focus, which is, um, you know, really serving you guys and loving you, and um, then emotionally, it's the celebration. It's really acknowledging um, and validating for myself, witnessing for myself all the work and that I do and all the heart that I give um, and not needing any other validation to, um, to celebrate the little victories, right? And the big victories and the big accomplishments and the holy craps and the, wow, you followed your heart and you did that and all of those things. Um, so that's where I'm at today. We'll see where I'm at tomorrow as I walk you, with you through this. Talk to you soon.